East weekend. We live near the festival so a lot of friends are gonna come to ours before and just hang out, chill, have a few drinks. I really wanted to host, we planned this for ages but as you can probably hear like my voice is quite rough, I've had a really busy August, I'm not feeling my best so I'm just gonna try and take it really easy and enjoy myself and just take it really slowly. Yeah, hair, hair is like this, makeup's like this. I've got my hoops in from Sandra. I'm really looking forward to the music. There's so many people I want to see that are performing today, so I'm really excited for that. But yeah, I'm, I'm just a bit stressed <laughs> about just the sheer like amount of stuff I'm doing three days. I'm doing Friday, which is today, Saturday, and Monday. Georgie, tell me through your fit today. <laughs> <laughs> Jules, tell me do your fit today. Um, I've got two little tigers on my tits. Um, uh, no, it's fine. <laughs> we're, we're an over 18 channel. Um, it's orange, it's orange, and it's orange. Oh, well, you can't see my whole thing. But well, you look good. Tell me through your fit. We've got an East Pack, bum bag, a shirt from Depot, a sweater for when I inevitably get cold, yeah. and a little tennis skirt. It is festival day two. My voice is maybe the same as it was yesterday, which is amazing because I was chatter, chatter, chattering. I won't keep you here too long as I think the microphone on this camera is fully like done now. <laughs> I think it's pretty bad. But um, yeah, I just want to show you what I was wearing, give you a little update. Today we are seeing Slow Tie, which I am so excited for. Slow Tie's album. I actually, I think it's called Tyron. It came out in January and it just got me through the first, the third lockdown. It got me through lockdown. I adored it, so I'm really excited to see him. We're also seeing Fred again at like five-ish. I'm really looking forward to that. I really like Fred. So they're my two people this week. This week? Today. Yesterday was great fun. Everyone was on really good form, so it was a really good day. Oh yeah, I've got my little pink light on back here. Oh, this thing face tracks, so I can't show you. But I have the pink, the pink thing on. We then went back to my friend Jamaica's house. Jamaica's my old housemate. If you can remember Jam from when I lived with her in 2018. Good, good work, guys. <laughs> but yeah, Jam's one of my really good friends. And we went to her house afterwards and just hung out for an hour or two. We were home at one, I think, which is like so fine for a festival. I was ready to wrap it up. So, quickly, let me show you what I'm wearing today. This has been a big trial and error outfit and I'm still not 100% on it, but I do want to show you. I ordered a few items. I ordered some Depop stuff. I ordered some stuff from Under the Stories and a lot of it just isn't right. It just doesn't work, doesn't fit, whatever. So I've been a bit disappointed, but this has been pulled together from my closet. Let's talk about these glasses quickly. These are the pièce de résistance of today. I just wanted something fun and a bit jazzy and I found them for three pounds in Urban Outfitters, which was perfect. Okay, so this is the outfit. Right, let me take, well, first of all, let's talk about the shirt. The shirt is a toweling shirt from And Other Stories. I think it'll be really good as well. I'm going on holiday at the end of the week, so I think it'll be really good for the holidays as well, like to just throw on over bikinis and stuff. And this here is the actual outfit. <laughs> I'm, I feel very like naked. I feel like Kim Possible. But um, yeah, we're gonna have some trainers on, like just the same trainers as yesterday because I wanted to wear my boots, but I feel like they'd look a bit weird with this. So we've got this nice top. This is AIM, A-Y-M. Uh, Grace Beverly always talks about them and I bought one of their pieces recently and this top is double layered as well so it keeps you quite warm which is what you need for a London festival. And then on my bottom half are just my, uh, what do you call these, cycling shorts and then I just have my bum bag, my trusty bum bag today as well. I'm just going sporty, I didn't want to wear a tennis skirt two days in a row so we have gone for this little look. We're just going nakey nakey today. I feel very naked but we're working with it. <sighs> 
I'm coming to you today with a hefty dose of reality. I've just ordered Virgaco, which is, if you don't know, my favorite vegan burgers in East London. Oh, they're so good. What you might be able to see here is the remainder of Jack's pre-drinks he's just had as he's gone to the festival for the third day. I think it's called Field Day today, not All Points East, but it's run by the same people. So there are just empty bottles everywhere. I look like this, <laughs> I sound like this, and I am just gonna eat all the food and have a chat. Let's just talk quickly about, about what's in the pots. It's mac and cheese with a sun-dried tomato pesto. Everything they do pretty much is gluten-free. It's all really allergy-friendly. They label everything. Okay, I've got to try it. This is a mukbang now. Oh my God, <laughs> it's heaven. Okay, it's the sun-dried tomato pesto that has brought this into another dimension. I love it already, but that is amazing. Then we have chicken dippers. You may think these don't look very good. They are exceptionally nice. It's like garlic parmesan sauce. Mmm. These are so good. I'm so happy. I'm just gonna eat this and then I'll, I'll continue chatting. I actually am going back to the festival tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm going with Lan and Mole. You might know them. Uh, absolute faves. Really excited for that. The festival's been really good. Yeah, I'm actually gonna eat this, I think, and then reconvene with you because I can't sit here with all this food in front of me and not eat it. <laughs> Hello. It's an hour or so later. I just got really deep in to this Khadija and Bari video about uh, the reign of the slim thick influencer and she talks a lot from like her personal experiences about being a woman with a pear-shaped body and her insecurities and I don't think I've ever related to something more. <laughs> but um, yeah, the video is really good. I'll link it below. It's so interesting. But yeah, until I watched Khadija's video, I hadn't thought to distinguish the kind of original video vixen slim thick uh, body to the Instagram slim thick body, which is this basically surgery surgery and edited version of what slim thick should be should be is naturally so like for example these entirely flat stomachs there's a kind of you know bums on women that maybe don't fit their their bone structure their body type and yeah usually like some kind of fake boobs and like the super skinny arms everywhere being super skinny other than boobs and bum and thigh gaps as well. Yeah, I just hadn't really thought about it. It just creates this thing that like no one can really do. Yeah, I was just gonna have a little chat in general. <coughs> I promise you this isn't as sore as it sounds. I definitely feel like 26 is a really weird age. I'm kind of, I've started feeling older. I, I suddenly feel insecure about my age when there's someone who's 21 around, which is so silly because I'm still really young. But then on some level, I feel like I'm, I'm more mature. I know myself so much better. Oh my God. Yeah, I just want to say like, I feel like I'm in a transitional period and like some weird stuff's probably gonna come up. Oh yeah, this is what I was actually gonna chat about. Oh my God, my fucking brain. I briefly talked about it on Instagram and I think I actually posted a little thing on, on YouTube, like in the stories function as well. But basically I've been very up and down, very up and down the past few months like I'm in a good mood today but like one thing can happen and it just tips me over the edge and I'm crying as I said like I don't really know it just is just seems to be happening I just feel a little bit like I'm lost but I'm like finding finding my route now I love how I've said all this about being how secure I am and now I'm like but I'm lost you mix everything together a bit of work anxiety a little sprinkle of financial anxiety feeling a little bit uh lost and without drive usually when I felt like this in the past it's been because I'm anticipating some kind of uh, physical presence, spatial change, often a move. So, like, nothing's tangibly gonna change in my life. It's me that's doing the changing. Like there'll be, like I just anticipate some deep internal work. So that's fine, I'm just trying to prepare basically. And yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Ah, oh, life is so weird. Life is a roller coaster, and you do just have to ride it. Okay, hello, I'm back. I wasn't gonna vlog for the rest of today, but then I just had this like series of thoughts. It's something I've been thinking about for a long time actually, but I've just put it into words and I wanted to talk to you about it. So I was thinking a lot and like reflecting on how I show my life, what my life even is and how I, how I show it. And I think I have this big insecurity. Like I know you've probably seen all those TikTok videos about becoming that girl. I feel like I'm always aspiring to be that girl and all of the internet, like social media lifestyle vloggers, post across that girl kind of stuff. It's something I really like. I wanna be more like, get up at 6 a.m., gym, smoothie, you know, have your shit together. But at the moment I'm feeling this like real sense of, this lack of um, of work purpose. The nature of, of what I do has changed a lot 
in even just this summer but over the whole of covid i think what it is to be a lifestyle influencer has changed massively and i'm still catching up a little bit like mentally and just working out what my next steps are and like how i want to pivot my content well i won't be pivoting my content but how i want to adapt basically i was just watching one of tara's vlogs tara tara Mar, if you don't follow her she's literally like i feel intimately connected to this woman <laughs> she gets across so much of her nuance of her life you see her doing like sound baths and like talk about astrology while also kind of doing your classic like that girl stuff like you know, working hard, getting up early, like having a life routine, like, yeah, it's kind of like pleasantly romanticized, but she also shows this other side of her, which I call in myself the fun girl. I started calling it like the fun girl after, um, like Summer Walker's song came out and I actually have a necklace with fun girl written on it now because it's something I really relate to. It's like, I'm like constantly like the extrovert one, like when I'm, you know, I, I enjoy going out, but I, I, I enjoy it too much, like, as we know. <laughs> I'm someone who's busy, busy, like out, out, out. I love going to festivals. I love going to gigs. I love bars. I, I went to a club the other day. Like, you know, I love it, but like sometimes it gets the better of me, right? And sometimes I think it, um, it is at odds with the life I want. I can't see those existing um, as a duality. But yeah, I was watching Tara's vlog and just realized like she so effortlessly shows like the different sides of her personality. I feel like I have to fit into a box and I feel like we don't see influencers really doing that kind of stuff. None of the people I follow really go out, but I do. I want to be a busy gal. I want to be a fun girl, but then I don't want to be a fun girl, you know? <laughs> and I always, for some reason, thought they were quite like, um, Yes, that the, these two ideas couldn't coexist. But watching Tara's vlog, I was like, girl, you make those coexist really effortlessly. And it makes total sense. And it made me feel a lot better because sometimes I worry that people just think, but it's not that I worry what people think, it's really what I worry about what I think of myself. I worry that the fun girl part of my personality can't really mesh with anything else. And I worry that that's all I am. I'm not. <laughs> I'm a woman with like nuances and dualities and multitudes. Multitudes, is that what I mean? And I can show all those things and that's fine. I don't know if anyone relates to that. I know it's, it's a weird time. Again, I feel like this whole vlog is just, it's a weird time in your twenties. It is a weird time because I've watched a load of influencers that I've watched for years now age up and out of uh, their 20s. Our lives feel way more different than they did even when I was 18 and they were like 25. And this is with a few influencers I follow, like a lot of them having kids, like, oh, obviously love Anna's a bit. Anna's having a kid, Jen's having a kid, love Jen. These women are like so sorted and so settled and I'm here and I'm like chaotic. <laughs> so basically Tara's given me a real relief from my existential crisis. I feel like this isn't just an influencer thing. I think this is an everyone thing. Like you think you know yourself or you put yourself in a box as being like the fun one or the shy one or uh, the boring one. I know loads of friends who have insecurities about being boring when they're just not boring at all. But they live in this space where like you can do a lot of these different things and it's okay. It's okay to like going out in your 20s. And it's okay to not like going out in your 20s. And it's okay to own the fun girl identity. Wow, I feel like I've got a lot off my chest. <laughs> I'm a fun girl and that's okay. And I can be a fun girl and that can exist alongside the other elements of my personality. It doesn't make me a bad person. God. Should have talked about that in therapy a few years ago. Oh yeah, I'm probably gonna go back to therapy as well. This is a whole thing. There's just a lot going on. I'm actually gonna go now. <laughs> it's gonna be a weird old vlog, this one. Thanks for hearing me out. Okay. Hello, we're starting today with what I think the outfit is. The weather is, it's cold. So I've panicked, but I think I have an outfit. So on the top half is just this nice Barcelona hoodie. This is from Girl Knows All, which is like a UK brand. And then on my bottom half are these Arquette shorts. You've seen them a million times. I love them. Bum bag is East Pack. I'm using it again. I just thought, you know what? It's just reliable. It's just good. And then on my feet, sorry, excuse the chaos here. I was thinking on my feet, I'd change up my shoes today and wear my Converse's. Oh, I also, I was gonna wear my white tennis skirt, but classic, I split avocado on it. So now it's drying off with a load of stain remover on it. So yeah, quick once over. This is the look. Today for me is Foles Day. I just want to see Maya Jane Coles and Foles. So the question is, how do I make this outfit less weird and more cute? Anyway. Anyway.
That's what the mouth does. Oh my god, it's a working typewriter. Oh, Jack. <laughs> well, did, you, did you not think it was going to be a typewriter? That's it. I did not think it was going to be this hard. I thought it was going to be putting one colourful book on top of the other. I forgot to vlog yesterday because I have been, what have I done here? I forgot to vlog yesterday because I've been building Lego for this job. I think I've spent like 11, 10, 11 hours on it so far, which is quite a lot. I dreamt Lego last night. It was like when I first started playing Spyro. I just dreamt Spyro for like a week. Anyway, today I've been building more Lego and I just filled up this donation bag. I found on Instagram someone advertising uh, a local refugee uh, collection point and it's actually really close to where I am so I'm gonna go down there and drop this off it's mainly like skincare sanitary towels stuff like that um, deodorants etc and then a few clothes and then yeah I'm gonna go to the gym on the way back because it's like on the way to the gym just thought I'd check in and give you a little update that's my that's my afternoon All right, I'm gonna go do that <laughs> I know you love it when I show my salads. I never get a reaction like this to any other food, but salads, people freak out. And I've made a good one today, so I want to show you. There's halloumi, quinoa, leaves, spring onion, uh, mixed toasted seeds, avocado, cucumber, dates, and some hummus, because I'm trying to up the protein in it. But yeah, and balsamic glaze. I'm really yeah, proud of my it. salad. Thanks. The um, final pieces are about to go on. I don't know if you want to do that yourself. Oh, yeah, can I? Can I eat this first? I'm starving. Yeah, I can just leave it. There's like literally like three pieces and then that's it. I really hope this is good. I love halloumi. Apparently no one eats halloumi outside of the UK. This is my new favourite fact. I've said it on Instagram a few times too. That's really good. This is the Franco Mancus veggie special. That looks quite good. Oh, we need mayo, don't we? Oh, he's a genius. <laughs> don't worry about it. Hello, friends. Happy Drake Day. Spent the morning finishing off some work, but now I'm gonna shoot off the remaining photos on my roll of film and then take it down to eye culture. And while I'm there, or on the way there, gonna listen to CLB. I love listening to an album with completely fresh ears where I, I've heard nothing from that particular project and just like immersing myself in it. I'm really excited for it. Take some pics, head down, head back. I have a meeting at 4.30 and then I'm gonna go hang out with my pals in, um. We're going to Mercato, I think, my home friends. Mm -hmm. 